Hello from the Force once again, Captain Frugal reporting for duty, and today for Marvel Puzzle Quest Tips and Tricks, I'm going to discuss what I mean by character farming is taking a character, build up to a maximum champion, and selling them off. Now, let me, I know here's the counter argument to this. Right off the bat, people say, well, it costs ISO to do it. And I agree, but it's an investment, and investments pan off with better results. So people, well, all the money you spend on, on it and you invest, yeah, but you get more if you do this. And what I mean by that is I usually farm twos. Actually, I'm farming threes as well, but twos I get rid of. Threes I just build extra. I'll have two of the same character in most cases because those are covers are harder to come by, threes and fours. Now, right now I don't have a lot of ISO and things because I recently, or as many two-star characters as I usually do, because I sold off several of them because I had several four-star characters ready to be champion that had covers that I needed to use so I didn't lose. And that's one of the benefits. Instead of selling off covers for 100 ISO and not getting much, utilize that more effectively. I hate throwing away covers. So what I'll do is, for example, here I have Ares at one where I'll have another Ares championed. And when I have another Ares, Ares championed, I will sell this one, and notice I'll get 65,000 ISO and 125 hero points. Because hero points are hard to come by, right? So this is a great way to make that, you know, to build that up and get that new star. Three stars you'll get even more, but as I said, I tend to keep the three stars because they're quite usable. So for example here, I have another Ares that's about ready to be chance to throw a little bit more ISO into him. Okay? And so once I do that, I'm going to sell off this one if I need ISO. Otherwise, I'll keep it until I need to spend it. Because there's no reason. I might as well keep the character, right? But if I need to spend the ISO or want to spend the ISO, let's say I get another character that need 125,000 ISO to champion and I don't have it, boom, I get an influx by selling off the characters already of the two-star character. We have other ones championed and waiting on. So this is a great way to benefit... You know, by using these two-star characters and getting that 65,000 ISO and 125,000 hero points. So also, when, as I said, I don't like those covers. Notice I have another, another Aries here because I wasn't getting any green covers. This allows me to have a lot of different roster slots. Notice my roster is 181. Because the game now it seems to be every month is pumping out multiple new characters. And you don't want to be throwing them out if you get them and, and wasting those covers. Also, another benefit. The more characters you have, the less health packs you're ever going to need to use, right? Because you only get those 10 and then it rebuilds. I have right now around 140 something, I think. That way I only use them if I really want to just for the heck of it or if I'm fighting hard in an event because I want to be number one or something and maybe I'll use some health packs. But otherwise, I have more than I'll ever need. And why? Because I can just use different characters because my roster is so big. Okay. And so you to fit them in and get what you need. So, for example, let's say I, you know, here's another benefit. As I said, it's the investment benefit, right? So here I click on my Wolverine. Do, do, do. Wait for my phone to slowly load. Okay, and I'm not going to sell him until he's at 144 and I have another one ready. But look, next time I get a come at 250 ISO because I invested it in, in upgrading that character. If I do that with Miss Marvel. As you see here, there's that benefit of sell, the, other than selling it for 100. I get 1,000 ISO for the next cover. So you're going to get a lot of that back. Let's see if I did that with this dock in here. Mm -hmm, doo -doo -doo. I get 200 ISO next time. If I do that with good old Hawkeye, because you know you get a zillion of these two-star characters, I get a heroic token. And there's another great benefit, too. You're not only getting the ISO, you're not only getting the hero points, you also get command points and you get tokens. And these tokens, who knows, could pop up something really good. So as you see here, you build a bank account, if you will, an equity account. And I say, you know, you could draw on it whenever you want, whenever you need the ISO or want command points and things. You just sell And therefore, you don't run out of money as much. You can build your teams much faster, and it doesn't cost you a cent. All right, guys, there's that tip for today. Today, subscribe and hit that notifications bell and tell other people about that. Where on these videos, I talk about teams, individual characters, what benefits to use them with, how to use them, anything Marvel Puzzle Quest. And if you have any requests and things that you'd like me to talk about, let me know in the comments. Maybe if I have that character.
there and use them, I'll do that. I have much more awesome teams coming up, odd teams that you wouldn't expect to work well coming up as well. So stay tuned, and I hope you enjoyed. And until next time, keep it frugal.